What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? Kudum Blow here coming at you with another exciting video. Today I'm going to be doing a little proficiency batoning, yes batoning, with the First Edge 5050 and also the SE Laser Strike. I just want to see which one will go through wood easier. This is just purely a baton test. Might do some feather sticking, I don't know, we'll find out. Anyways, if you like what you're seeing and you want to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down there below. You can also hit the like button anytime. Let me know that you're liking these videos. Also, if you have any comments or you want to see some future content, post it down below in the comment section. Let me know what you all think. But here we go. We've got the SE Laser Strike, and then I've also got the First Edge 50-50. So we're going to just do a little bit of batoning. Let's see what happens. SE laser strike first. What I've got here is some ash. I think this is ash. If you know more than I do, <laughs> let me know in the comment section down there below. But it looks like ash, pretty dry stuff. There's been some rain here lately in Southern California, but I think this piece and the other piece I'm about to baton are pretty, pretty dried out. So let's see what happens. That's a good sign, right? There we go. Definitely dry stuff. It's coming off a little too easy. Pretty solid. Okay. Just trying to find the right angle. If you notice pretty curvy here <laughs> piece of wood this is definitely tough to get through with the SE laser strike we're gonna see how the uh, first edge 50 50 does if it does any better I feel like it's getting caught up here in the knot or this little curve right here there's also a nice big knot right there so you can see it's not as easy as it looks on other YouTube videos. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, definitely not as easy as it looks. This was the SE Laser Strike. This is a pretty dried out, hard piece of wood. Pretty dry, but definitely a little tough to get through. Let's see if the First Edge 50-50 does any better. So same piece of wood, same curves. Let's keep all things fair. We'll do it this way. First few hits seems like the 50-50 went through a little bit easier. Definitely getting caught up though in the, almost the same area that the laser strike did. Once again, pretty dry piece of wood here. See, this is where length matters, pun intended, because you want a knife that's long enough that's going to be able to baton through 
this wood, but you also want to make sure that you have enough on the end to strike at. If this is ash, if the wood is ash, tough as hell. Okay, I'm making progress. I definitely feel like it's going through a little bit easier now. I think now that I've gone through about like, maybe, uh, what is that, two fifths of the way through. Okay, I definitely got a nice crack in the split there. And as you can see where now we're about three-fifths of the way through, I'd say. It's a little bit more than half, but you can definitely see where it's caught up right there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah. And no light. Whoops. Okay, so that's the first edge, right? First edge, Omax, 50-50. I would say it was about the same, honestly. Like, comparatively speaking, between between the SE Laser Strike and the First Edge 50/50, I'd say that test was equal. I'd, I'd give. I there's no advantage either way. So I think the the shape. If you go ahead and look, I think the the shape of the grind, the thickness of the metal. I don't think it made any difference either way. If you look at them side by side, and I mean, you know, I wasn't exactly using the best baton in the world to baton with. This this piece of wood is pretty heavy as well. So what I want to what I want to try to do now is I want to try to see if I can use one of these smaller pieces, like maybe this guy, to baton this big guy and see what happens. So let's try that. So again, let's do the laser strike first. Okay, so. Once again, pretty hard piece of wood there. I think uh, the laser strike felt the same as it did through the curved piece. So this is obviously a little more of a straighter piece. But as you can see, pretty dry wood. This is pretty tough to get through. And if you saw, I was going through this little curve right here. So you can catch that. So let's try the first edge 50-50, see what happens. So right off the bat, I got this nice crack right here. So that might be an advantage for the 50-50, the first edge, because of its thicker, because of its thicker spine, right? Thicker material. That could be a little bit of an advantage. So let's see what happens as I go the rest of the way through. Yeah, and again, look at that nice crack, right? So there could be a little bit of an advantage here, but I, I really feel like the 50-50 compared to the laser strike, I don't think there's any difference getting through or pushing through the material. I think it's the same resistance, let's say, that's holding this or keeping this from getting all the way through. So let's do a little more batonic, see what happens. The knife definitely wants to curve on me. Like I can feel the curving in my hands. Might have to readjust. And again, here's where I feel like if you are going to buy 
a survival knife, call it a bushcrafting knife or whatever it is, here's another good reason why you want to have the length. You want a longer knife that's gonna be able to give you some real estate here, let's say, to be able to baton onto. And I think that drop point, right, the first edge drop point is definitely a good thing because the thickness of the material goes all, almost all the way to the point, if you get the point. <laughs> but having that longer knife, and this piece of wood I would say is about three and a half inches right now. So if your knife was only four inches long, do the math, you've, got, you've only got a little, little tiny bit to catch or so that the baton can catch the point here to be able to go through the, the material. So having that longer knife definitely helps. So let's keep going, see what happens. Okay, I feel like it's getting easier now. There's less resistance going through the material. As you can see, the split that's happening, right? So I think that's where the, the wedge shape, right, this high, saber grind on the first edge and the thickness of the material this is a quarter of an inch thick i think is helping to pry or to wedge this piece of wood apart getting easier i feel like i could readjust okay now i've got some more real estate to baton with and there you go that was a breeze piece of cake to get through last little piece there you go so just for comparison's sake again, let's look at the wood. Let's look at what I had to baton through. Right, definitely got some uh, some tight grain in there. I believe this is ash. Like I said, if you know better than I do, comment in the comment section down below. Even got a little spider colony going on in there. <laughs> so I got that going on. But what's this say? Uh, these might actually be nails. Now, I think it's just some kind of... Uh, yeah, this might actually be a nail in here. So, hey, let's check our edge. Edge is still looking pretty good on the first edge. Right, go ahead and take a look at that. So edge is still looking pretty good. Right? And let's do, let's see if we can get this piece split a little more, just so I can try to do some feather sticking. Let's see what happens. We'll go with the laser strike first. Uh, let's go this way. And use a smaller piece. So I've got that crack going on again. Right, nice crack. I feel like the thickness of the laser strike is definitely helping with that. This is 